What is up guys, welcome back to another session video. Today we're gonna go over my stats in the game. I haven't made a stats video in a while, so hopefully this is something I just like keep referring back to. I guess that was a kickflip runs at Hurricane, but all right, let's just get into everything there is about this. Here in session, I actually have a couple of different stats saved. So I got my custom two, which is my realistic stats. So let's just go over those. I got gravity right at the start of the M. Same thing for push force. Max push speed is one after the two, I would say. Foot braking somewhere in between max push speed and push force. Banking turn rate is right in the middle. I think this depends on your controller, on your playstyle, but this suits me very nicely. And then for crouching bank rate, that is how much you can turn while being crouched. And I actually like that it's not that much. So I do turn a little bit while crouched, but it's not going to like fully set me off course once I'm like approaching something, which I find quite nice. Then we got pop board the body distance which i have like at the u this is mostly for style i have my hippie flip settings right here on number three where you can see i pop that all the way up so you can get some pretty cool hippie flips but back to the realistic settings then my low pop height is around here same thing for the high pop i don't use low pop height that much in session simply because i don't really like the way it works in this game so put these at whatever you want but with these settings, I find them quite matching with my flip and scoop speed, which we'll get into. Grind pop height, I mess around with this one all the time, but I think this one is pretty good for not like hitting the ledge once you actually try to flip trick out of the ledge. Yeah, I think, I think it suits pretty well with my playstyle. Manual pop height is a bit higher, and I think that's because when doing like manual tricks and then for example, a manual kickflip to nose manual. I kind of need a little more pop height in order to not like land in a manual after the kickflip. But this is also something I mess around with a lot. As you could see, my front truck was nearly touching after the kickflip. But I think it's okay for now. But depending on the trick and the spot, I might change these. And same goes with all of these stats. And that's why I haven't really made a stats video in a while. Because I keep changing them. Body rotation rate. I got them around the start of the m again maybe in the middle of the m this one you can completely ignore the body rotation friction because i play on manual spin mode which we'll also get into in air board orient speed i have that little to the right of the middle simply because i need to adjust like where i put the pressure approaching a ledge so if you were to like front nose i can ollie release and then just twist my front foot to the right and that's gonna make it look pretty realistic i would say so it's not like too fast but yeah it looks looks pretty realistic the way he went into that front nose and then here we got the last settings we got flip speed i got that a bit to the right of the middle flip friction here is not important for my playstyle. it actually has no effect but for those of you that play with manual catch it is how fast the flipping slows down in air scoop speed i got that one more to the right than the flip speed and same thing for scoop friction with flip friction it doesn't really have an effect on my gameplay grind friction is probably the setting i tweak around the most so right now i have it on one little bar there grind rotation rate i have a bit past the middle on the faster side because i like if you're in a crook you can kind of start rotating in the grind before you exit to get a clean looking 180 trick out i don't know if it comes off like that but it looks pretty fine in my opinion Power slide friction, I have that in the middle. I don't think I ever really messed around with that. I don't do too many power slides in session. And now for the next ones, they are actually really important in my opinion. So we got board control with the side impulse, the extra pitch and extra scoop. So side impulse is how much you can jump to the side when setting up in the pockets. So if I set up in the pocket over there to the left, when I do the kickflip, I actually pop to the left. So this is gonna help alignment with ledges. You can also do this opposite by setting up in the right pocket and kick clipping. Then you'll go to the right. One thing I wish they would have done for this game is that if you need that to, let's say, kick clip front nose this rail to like jump to the side and then land it in this instance. But as you can see in the replay, if I were to actually want to film this, that kickflip stance is not going to look good. So I wish they would kind of change that in the replay. As you can see here, the game knows we're doing a kickflip. 
which is jumping a lot to the side. So maybe in the replay, you could have turned like the stance off because that would have looked really weird if we did a kickflip into something with that stance. But for other things, you know, it might look okay, like a tray flip. Also might be looking a bit more natural that you actually jump a bit to the side on a tray flip. I got extra pitch, exactly the same place at side impulse and extra scoop. And this is actually the one I know the least about. I think I just said it the same as the others. Maybe JL Nightmare can fill us in on what that actually means. I don't know if it means that this is a normal rocket flip, but if we get some side impulse on that, it's gonna rocket even more. So here we have classic rocket flip and here we have board control mode rocket flip. Yeah, it does look a little more rocket. So if you were to get like a kickflip 5 or something, you might actually want to do it with the, uh, with the board control mode. Extra scoop makes sense. I actually don't think I need this one, but simply because I'm used to it, I'm going to leave it where it is. So if I were to varial flip with my foot all the way in the pocket, it should over rotate a little bit so it's not that much and it is actually something you should mess around with more if you unsync your flip and scoop but we'll get into that dark slide catch angle big drop max height pumping impulse multiplier and max sprint speed i don't think i've ever really messed with those but it could be fun to actually sprint a little bit faster you know what why have i never turned this on this is actually quite useful so that is pretty much my realistic settings. Let's call them that. That's my custom two. On custom one, I have my unrealistic settings. So these are for when I have a ledge or something that's a little too high. I have a higher pop height and I mess around with these settings a lot. So I'm not really gonna get into it, but my side impulse, I have up a lot. So you jump a lot more to the side with this setting. And as you can see, it's a little bit floaty compared to my other stats. So I only play with this when it's completely necessary. Otherwise, I stick to custom two. And custom three is for the hippie flips. And those I mess around with a lot too, depending on what kind of spot you're skating, how high you actually need to pop and stuff like that. So hopefully you have a pretty good understanding of how everything works in the advanced settings here. So let's just open up the normal gameplay settings. The input mode is left and right foot. Body rotation mode is set to manual, but I actually think if you want a more realistic setting, you should probably put it on pressure mode. This way you can't really control your spin speed in the air. You have to figure it out before that. Same thing for speed mode and time mode, but I think pressure mode makes the most sense if you were to play that way. But I keep it on manual to be able to control my spin rate at all times. And then we got all of these different settings categories. We got board settings, flip trip settings, grind settings, revert settings. We got some bales and big drop landing here. I don't really mess around with wear and tear, which is completely personal. And then of course the advanced settings that we just went over. So if we start in board settings, I do play with a very controversial thing. Actually, no, that is not in here. <laughs> so this is also completely personal preference. I don't think I've messed around with this in a while. I have turned wheel bite off, even though if you want a more realistic experience, you can turn that on. Then if you take pretty sharp turns, you're gonna wheel bite and, and stop. Wheel grip. Yes, this is stuff you could mess around with. You could make like a day one truck. Just have one completely loose. I don't know. I haven't actually messed around with this one. So this works for me. In flip trick settings, this is where I have a controversial setting on. And that is auto catch mode. I'm not a big fan of manual catch in session. And it's not because I haven't played realistic skateboarding games where you have to catch your tricks. But I just don't think it makes a lot of sense in session, for me at least, in how much joy I get from it and how I think it looks. I think there are some disadvantages to actually play with manual catch. But if you enjoy it, you do you, man. This is all just like what I play with. So it's not the right way to play session. That's why you have all these settings so you can customize it to your own personal liking. But one thing that's very important here is that we have board control mode to manual. If you have it set to auto, I don't think you can actually do any of the side jumping, extra pitch or extra scoop modes that we actually set up in the advanced settings. Flip speed mode is on input speed. I haven't messed around with directional in a very long time. Flip continuous mode, of course, we want to be able to do double flips. Scoop input mode is on normal. 
and the speed mode is set to input speed as well. So swiping or flicking determines how fast our flip or our scoops rotate. And scoop is also on continuous mode. Pop height, unique. I've messed around with this a little bit, but I like it on unique. We got latrix on, even though I don't really know why they don't look that good at the moment. Quick shove it's on. You could also just keep it to grinds only, then you can get some realistic low popped shoves out of grinds but i kind of like having them on if i just like need to turn my board around but one thing i popped over here is the sink flips and scoop so you could turn this off and then nothing is really going to be on like a perfect angle so if we were to do the extra scoop mode and just hard flip you could get into some crazy stuff with this mode I think I have made videos on that in the past, trying to get like hard triple flip or varial triple flip and stuff like that. And that is one thing that helps if you got the extra scoop thing on or lesser scoop thing maybe. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the most important things I have on here. In grind settings, I would also say this is personal preference. I got no release on the grind input mode. I'm guessing I could ollie and then just hold my front foot up and press it down, get into a crook position. That's what I prefer. Grind alignment is right around the O and everything else is on off. But of course, I mess around with dark slides every now and then. I don't like trick relative input. I actually like to just release and do the tricks like I would do them on flat ground. But that's also personal preference. Reverts settings, I don't really mess around with this. My controller has this thing where I can basically turn reverts on or off. So yeah, this is how I have it. <laughs> I like to watch my character just suffer a bit after falling. So we have this one set to off. Big drop landing input. We have that off. And then we got the wear and tear settings, which once again is completely up to you. I kind of like my graphics at the moment and not snapping my board. So I actually have this to off. I actually don't think it works if you turn this on and then just slide your graphic off a little bit. And then turn it back on. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. Our board is completely torn up at this point. So I guess that is why I have that off. Does it then come back to life? It does. So that is simply the only reason why I, I have it on that. Now we also have some experimental settings, which I also just go over depending on whatever thing I'm skating or whatever mood I'm in. Lip tricks I have on for slappy grinds or pole jams. Caspers and primos. Yeah, just whatever you feel like. I sometimes turn off the uh, physical animation here if you want to do the no comply mod or something like that. But otherwise, I think that was it, guys. I don't think we can make it up here. But yeah, guys, I actually think that was it for the video. Just a, a quick one today going over all the stats. Oh, I mean, I guess it isn't a quick one. I've been filming for quite a while. I had a lot of talking to uh, to get over but yeah i can't wait to see you guys in another video so until then have it good and peace out